this is a product overview for ultrasonic hardness tester time 5620 manufactured by Beijing Time as you can see here this is a main unit this is a motorized probe this is the probe cable and then we have two samples which will be used for product demonstration for start if you want to turn on the main unit slide this button upward as you can see here this UCI stands for ultrasonic contact impact which is a classification for this motorized probe and this is time this is a battery level indicator this F here shows a force that applied from this motorized probe the times here shows one set of measurement this S here stands for what are the amounts of completed set of measurement this 00 is a default setting for the calibration setup in case you want to change it to the others simply press matte button and then you can choose which whichever calibration setup you want for example 01 press matte button again and then press menu button you can see here it's changing this is a testing display shows measurement value and measurement scale in case you want to change it to the other measurement scale press scale button and it will show other measurement scale for example HRA HRB and so on okay at this side 0, 01 until 0, 06 is one set of measurement value corresponding to these times the, and from this side maximum value and minimum value from this one set of measurement this average value can be obtained after after this measurement value is, is calculated this HV and HB will be obtained after the average menu is obtained and it will automatically convert I want to show you the menu display as you can see here there are four setups for the first one test setup is a basic setting before we start the measurement and system setup it is for display setting safe setup is for display and manage the stored data results and finally the print setup is to print off the measured data results and now I want to show you how to control the display backlight just press this button twice and then press once to turn it on again there are two ways to turn off first from this on off button just press and hold this button about three seconds and then if you want to turn it on again press and hold this button again about three seconds this main unit can only be turned on as long as this button is always upward second step if you want to turn it on permanently you slide this button downward before we start a measurement let me introduce to you the two samples that we are using for this product demonstration first is a steel block and second is a heat treated mild steel that can be found in an automotive engine generally this ultrasonic hardness tester can be used to measure all types of metal with smooth surface such as stainless steel, aluminum alloy, zinc alloy and so on except for the rough surface metal such as cast iron now I am going to show you how to set up uh, the ultrasonic harness tester and then we can start a measurement first take this cable to connect it to the main unit as you can see here this the red dot here and the red dot at the main unit make sure it is parallel and then you can simply put it in for the probe as you can see here there is a small portion and also at the small portion here then you can put it in and now we can start measurement 
uh, before that as you can see here this small circles is a magnet and then the indenter is a diamond type turn on the main unit now we can start a measurement simply place this probe vertically with the stick block and just put it up, downward after that if you want to start a measurement press this red switch when measuring with the probe it is better to change the location so that the user can measure a surface and not the indented area average value for this steel block this is for HRC scale but if you want to change it to the other scale just press scale button and it will convert to HV scale HRA and so on if any scales that show this up arrow it indicates the reading is exceed the desired value our second sample we are using heat treated mild steel make sure the sample is parallel with the indented and then we can start by pressing the red button when measuring make sure to change it to other measuring location After a beeping sound, we have obtained an average value for the second sample. And that's all for our product demonstration.